Hey everyone, and welcome to our instructional video on warning indicators in AB Quantum. A couple of updates ago, we, we pushed an update that included these added warning indicators. Now these are to let you know that you have a parameter, one of three parameters, that is set to a relatively high input. So let's go ahead and start here uh, with the pressure on the right hand side. This little circle icon tells you that you have a high pressure set when it's red. That's anything 32 uh, inches of mercury or higher. If I reduce this to say 31, you'll see that that changes to a uh, orange indicator. And if I just go back to a normal pressure, you see it completely goes away. So that indicator indicates a high pressure. For temperature, anything above about 100, 105 degrees, you're gonna get a orange indicator. Anything above 115 degrees, you're gonna get this red indicator that says, hey, you have a really high temperature set. This can happen from thermal loading. Maybe you've got a weapon mounted laser rangefinder that's sitting in the sun and it's reporting a high temperature. Um, but for whatever reason, you have a high temperature set and we want you to know that. If I reduce this to like 105 degrees, you'll see it turns orange on us here. And if I just back this out to a today's temperature, you'll see that warning indicator goes completely away. Now, fun fact, if I set this to a negative number, it'll actually pop up here uh, light blue to indicate, hey, you've got a relatively low freezing temperature set, just so you know, and you can double check that. Now, the most common error that we see is this one, inclination angle. So I'm going to switch over to the target controller here real quick, and you're going to see I have a 52 degree inclination angle set. If I set this like 90 degrees or something, you'll see it remains red. This tells you that you have a inclination or vertical firing angle above 25 degrees. Now, if I lower this to say 24 degrees, you'll see it turns orange to say, hey, your shot angle, your firing angle, it's, it's a little, it's a little steep, you know, just so you know, doesn't necessarily mean it's wrong, but we want you to know that. But if I were to reduce this to something like eight, uh, eight degrees, you'll see that that warning label goes entirely away. So let me bring those back up for you here. I'm going to set this to 80 degrees uh, firing angle. I'm going to go back to the environment page. I'm going to set the temperature here to 115 degrees and I'm going to set the pressure here to 32 degrees. And so we'll go over these one more time. This warning indicator says, hey, you've got a, a high or a really low pressure set. You just might want to double check that. This warning indicator here says, hey, you've got a really high or really low temperature set, just so you know, you're aware. And then this last indicator here says, hey, you've got a really high or really low um, vertical firing angle, your inclination angle. Just be aware that uh, you know, you've know you got that input. And that's what these are. These warning, indi warning indicators are there for your benefit so that you can maintain and manage the data that's coming in and out of your firing solutions. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you'd please like and subscribe to our videos, it really helps us disseminate this information and gets more users to see them so we can better educate the community. Uh, please uh, also, if you have any questions or any suggestions, click this center navigation icon, click that support button and send those tickets in with your feedback, with your questions, with things that you might like to see. I really hope this video was helpful and I hope you have a great day.